Welcome to an introduction to bat detectors. If you've ever been to a bat walk or another bat event, you've probably been impressed by bat detectors that allow you to hear the calls the bat makes. What it does is it brings a, a ultra high frequency calls of the bat to the bats down and transfers them into a sound that we can hear. Bats make lots of different sounds, different species make different sounds, but even individual species will make different sounds for different reasons, such as echolocation, a feeding buzz, social calls. Some of these are all at one frequency, some are at different frequencies. Now, the trick with bat detectors is you'll hear uh, people say, talk about corn pipistrels are at 45 kilohertz and Sopranos are at 55, but that's the peak frequency. So if you're down at 45 and a soprano goes by, you'll still hear it. And if you're at 55 and a common goes by, you'll still hear it. So this is actually about how to act how to actually use a bat detector to be able to uh, tell probably the two most spe uh, common species of bats in the UK. So bat detectors, there's lots of them in the market, but this is probably your cheapest off-the-shelf bat detector. There are cheaper ones, but they build your own and they involve a bit of soldering. I don't really do soldering because when I do, I normally end up getting burnt. So this is a great uh, beginner one, the Magenta Bat 4. There is a Bat 5, which has a nice digital display here, but really it's just a bit of extra money for not a lot of extra benefit, in my opinion. This is what you need. So there's a little dial here that turns it on. Turn it up to hear a hiss. There is also a button here that turns on a torch. I never use it basically because the torch just runs down the battery. So it's, it's not great use. So you turn it up to hear a hiss. I always turn it to the dial here. You turn it, turn it to 50. And it will pick up lots of noises. It'll pick up jangly keys. I'm just looking to see whether I've got any keys lying about. I don't. Um, other things that pick up. Here's a great one. Did you hear that really loud noise there? There it was again. Try it with the bad detector. That's my nose. Trust me, your nose just sounds just as bad. So, this is going to pick up everything at 50 kilohertz. Now, for a soprano pipistrelle, it's peak frequencies at 55, but you'll hear it at 50. Same with common. So what you do is set it to 50, wait for a pipistrel to uh, bat, uh, bat to fly past. Then once you've, you, you hear it and it sounds a bit like um, lots of clicks and sort of, um, sort of clicky sort of sounds, and with an occasional buzz, and that's a feeding buzz, um, you'll hear it. And what you then do is do one of two things, either turn it up to 55 or turn it down to 45. Turn it up to 55, if it becomes loud and clear, you know it's a soprano pipistrelle. But if it becomes high pitched and a bit tinny, you've went the wrong way and it's a common. So it doesn't matter what, what way you go, you'll be able to tell. So the same works if you turn down to 45 and it becomes loud and clear, it's a common. If it becomes high pitched and tinny, you went the wrong way, it's a soprano, so you know to turn back up to 55. Remember, bat detecting is a fun activity that does not disturb bats. It's an offence to disturb a bat roost, whether it is in use or not. If you find a grounded or injured bat, contact the Bat Conservation Trust helpline 0345 1300 228. If the bat is in a position where it is in danger of being injured further, then put it in a pair of high gardening gloves or a pair of rubber gloves and place it in a lidded cardboard box with air holes in it. So to recap, turn it on to hear a hiss, set it to 50. Another way to check actually if it's on, rub your fingers together and hear it. Try not to bang the, um, the microphone, that's not going to do it any good. And when a bat flies past, probably a pipistrel since they're a most common species, either turn it up to 55 and it'll become loud and clear or high pitched and tinny. Loud and clear is a soprano, 55 peak frequency, 
high pitch and tinny is a 45 uh, it's a common so you would just turn it down to 45 and vice versa so later on tonight got to go out and see if we can hear any bats in my garden Where is it? Where it is? Very loud. And I turn it down to 45. You hear how it gets very high pitched, but if I turn up to 55, it comes back through and it's very loud. So this makes it a soprano. In fact, there's two sopranos there, two soprano pipistrels. They're the smallest bat in Britain. Uh, they're Name actually tells you two things. A common name, soprano pipistrelle, tells you that they have a higher frequency, peak frequency than the common pipistrelle. And also, the Latin name, pipistrellus pygmaeus, tells you that they're actually the smallest, uh, smaller than the common pipistrelle, by only a fraction, sort of only sort of a millimetre or so. So there isn't much in it, but they are, the Soprano Pipistrelle are uh, Britain's smallest bat species. So, I'm not sure. There's still some about in the next door's garden, or maybe one garden over. And also in the garden on the other side, just not in my garden. Then amongst all the clicks you'll sometimes hear a little buzz, that's a feeding buzz, that's basically the echolocation going into overdrive as they just hone in on something. I'll turn down You hear I turn down to 45, you can hear how it's very high pitched. But if I turn up to 55 it becomes a lot louder and clearer. There's the there's the feeding buddies there. So it's getting busier now. That's good. nice and loud and clear at 55 and at 45 it goes all high pitched a bit tinny loud and clear at 55 so it's all sopranos we've got around here I can count at least six flying around over the three gardens this garden and one on either side So, I still, even 20 plus years after first hearing a bat detector in an old Bat Box 3, um, I still get the same sort of like buzz, if you will, from it. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video, an introduction to bat detectors, and if you've been inspired to go out and buy a bat detector, I've got some details at the end of this of uh, where to get a uh, magenta bat for. Okay, thanks a lot for listening. Goodbye.